What's up guys? Just in the garden today. Uh, this is our vegetable garden where we're growing mainly lettuces and salad greens. Uh, we pretty much just have a row of uh, lettuce and we just have it along this drip line. And I want to talk about kind of like what the type of soil it's growing in. As you can see, there's lots of wood chips and that's just to keep the soil healthy. Um, if you look inside the soil, is nice and rich and dark so you know it's getting lots of vitamins and it's very healthy and I want to show you what the soil used to look like beforehand so we're gonna walk over here and show you what the soil used to look like so the soil used to look like this hard as a rock now since we've been you know mulching the soil and growing plants in it the soil looks more like this nice dark rich you can see there's even worms in there it's full of life and that's really what you're going for when you're trying to revive the soil in the area this was all just hard 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 soil now it's full of life you could um actually feel it the ground feels kind of spongy and we're just growing beautiful beautiful organic pesticide free vegetables we have things like this lettuce we have these nasturtiums and we're growing these nasturtiums because they actually help keep certain pests away pests away from our lettuces like this so we're letting those grow we have you know a beautiful romaine lettuce head growing here we're getting nice and big we got mustard greens um this is a moringa tree we cut back during the winter and it'll regrow during the spring now we go over here, you can see our drip lines, but we actually have this broccoli plant that's about either two or three years old by now, I think two years old. And we actually just keep it here just to um, attract the pests towards it. But if you guys didn't know, broccoli greens are actually very delicious and are edible. So you can actually eat the broccoli greens. And in time, they'll produce flowers, florets like this which will become the broccoli. Broccoli are actually unopened flowers like this. So those are just like mini broccolis. If you go to here, these are also nasturtiums. So those are nasturtiums and these are nasturtiums. But you can see the variegation in the color here and that's actually because this is called an Alaskan nasturtium. And they're known for this variegation. And I really like this one, um, just grows really easily. We also got some red vein sorrel. You can eat the leaves, it's kind of like a lemon spinach, or you can make tea out of it. So we got a few of those. We also growing some onions, green onions that are ready to be harvested, but you could harvest the tops and put them in your baked potatoes. Here we got some red onions just growing alongside our moringa tree. We have some seeds that we started like cilantro and nasturtium. But here too, you can see the soil is just really healthy, very moist. And a moringa tree is going to sprout back up during the spring and summer when the weather warms up. If you go over here, we have carrots. You know, we actually have carrots growing down here, and they're just growing along the drip system. And in between the in between the lettuces, we have onions, and that's just to keep away pests and other pests and animals. So that just helps prevent that. Here is just kind of like our overgrown bed. I haven't really done much with this, but this needs a big trimming. It's a citronella plant, so this helps with mosquitoes. Then we have basil plant, and the flowers attract pollinators. And the pollinators are just really good for the native wildlife. You, you'll oftentimes during the day see bees, and they just will be swarming all over the basil plants. We have some lemongrass that needs to be cut down, um, a blackberry bush that I'm going to be making propagations out of. So keeping the lookout, we do have some blackberry plants. We got herbs like rosemary and uh, mint, oregano, onion, catnip, and more in here, just kind of hiding in between the bed. So if you go down into our little greenhouse here, we don't have much going on. We've just been propagating plants in here. This is actually longevity spinach that we've just been propagating and that's red vein sorrel that's been propagating and then just some more lettuces that just growing there and if you look here we have the 
red and alabar spinach flowers and they're very beautiful they're very colorful and you could actually use the red malabar uh spinach seeds seeds as a dye so if you crush them up they're an edible dye so you can actually eat this it's a berry uh, or a seed and it could change the color of your food so a lot of chefs like this to add this nice color um onto uh their food so it doesn't really have a lot of flavor which is pretty good because now you can make you know i don't know a cocktail with that color in there and it'll look very fancy put a nice flower on there you know make it look very beautiful over here we have our shit compost pile just kidding no it's not shit but we have our compost pile we were kind of just threw stuff there and just acting as a cover this is the back of the skeleton kind of where we hide everything and over here we have our our um our plants our trees our fruit trees so we have plums and um, passion fruits and we even have kale we have arugula growing little arugula is growing we started some peas um lemongrass and pomegranates and more carrots growing in there we have lots of carrots growing in there and these are actually pansy flowers these are edible flowers um these are really beautiful to grow they're edible so you can actually eat them and they're perfect for like cocktails i'm actually thinking about selling these to high-end bars and stuff and they can use them as um cocktails uh cocktail flowers basically they're edible you can eat the petals they don't really taste like much probably like lettuce but that's about it and we have some of these trees for sale this is a white sapote and we have passion fruits and dragon fruits and more stuff like that and that's it guys so catch you guys later look more of these berries that you could make so look you can even get one of these i don't know make it a dye I don't know. You could do something. If you're a chef, probably be into it. No, that's it for today. Oh, and our greenhouse. We got a lot of nursery plants. These are parsley's and red onions for sale. We have things like um, saffron and these growing there for succulents. So those are all growing. I really like these uh, ruby slipper propagations that are growing. And over here, we have more propagation so this is how we propagate our plants this is our citronella plants so these are going to be about a couple months before they're ready for sale and blackberry can be another few months and then we got cat nip um that's gonna be another few months before all that is ready for sale so here we also have our trees papaya tree moringa tree have our uh, plants our papaya trees are growing really good in this aquaponic pond that's uh lettuces growing in there too just like that and growing just a lot of beautiful things and i'm really excited to show you guys what we're going to be up to in the future we're going to have this whole greenhouse filled with propagation seedlings cuttings rare exotic plants and these beautiful creations of nature to Joy. Enjoy nature's abundance. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.